and you won't be able to graduate. And I'm like, are you dead serious? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would've dropped out nine thing. What's up? What, what it do? What's good? What's poppin'? What's going on? Ooh. <laughs> Before we start today's video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. And that's one guideline. Girl. Are you not tired of doing that stupid junk already? Did anybody ask you though? Did anybody ask? Oops, I was just saying what they were thinking. My bad. Shut up, Corvette, Corvette. The heck? Nobody asked you. I'm just gonna move you out the camera and see if you like that. Cause you lucky I'm letting you out. No, no, I'll shut my imaginary mouth. Yeah, I apologize. I mean. Mwah. So I did a poll on my Instagram talking about what story time would you guys like and y'all said the time I almost didn't graduate versus the time I hacked my best friend's Instagram. So this is the video that you're getting right now. Yeah. So let's get to it. So basically I was starting my 12th grade year at a new county, new, new school, like literally knew nobody. I'm thinking okay this year is going to be a breeze because I passed all of the tests that I had to pass. Fast forward, I'm in class, my second period at JRLTC, Air Force, and they call in for testers, da da da, for math, per whatever, for tests. And I'm like oh I'm good, I already passed that job. So I'm great, I'm great. <laughs> and then here I see my name on the list and I'm like um... I passed that junk. I passed it. And they're like, oh, no, just go check it out. Da, da, da. Maybe it's a mistake. Go check it out. See, blah, blah, blah. And no, it was not a mistake. I had to take that test again. And of course, I'm heated because I hate math. Like, I literally cannot say math. Like, math has been my weakness ever since elementary school. And my sister discovered that it's because I was born prematurely and usually premature kids are typically not good at math. Like I'm so bad at math. Like I literally googled math dyslexia because that's what I thought I had. Because like literally you could be telling me right now and I'm, I'm focusing, I'm listening, but it's not sticking. I'm not understanding. Like I, I just can't. I just cannot. I just cannot. <laughs> Fast forward, I'm going to the testing room and I'm just like... The teacher's watching me, so I can't even cheat if I wanted to. Not like I was gonna do that anyways. But like, <laughs> that was a thought in my mind, it was out the window. <laughs> like, I would not be able to cheat anyway. So I take the test, I'm like, okay, whatever. Jesus, take the will like you did last time, because that's the only reason why I passed last time. <laughs> so, a few months later, I gotta take the test again. So you know what, I go to the counselor, my bad, I go to the assistant principal, and I'm like, um, I uh, passed this test, da 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 like, is it in the system? So he's like, um, it says that you passed the reading test, but it says NA for the math test. So I'm like, do you think, because I, I had a friend tell me that, you know, moving from Miami, to Lakeland, uh, like different counties, like my stuff could get messed up, so he jinxed me. So thank you, Brian, for jinxing me jinxed me <laughs> like a mud so um basically everything all the system got messed up and like they couldn't they couldn't find it so he looked in he was like you just have to keep taking it i'm gonna email your school in miami and like like ask them request it for it and get the information blah, blah, blah. and i'm like okay cool but every month every month i don't know what's going on i gotta keep taking the test keep taking that test because like every month they calling for me to take that stupid test i'm taking it i'm taking it i'm failing i'm failing i'm failing i'm failing i'm heated I'm heated. They're like, oh, um, that test is very important. If you don't take it, then you won't be able to graduate. And I'm like, are you dead serious? If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have dropped out nine feet. Cause like, what's the point? I get up to here. So you telling me I'm getting A's and B's, straight A's and B's, and my GPA is passing level, but I'm not gonna graduate because of this test. Is that what you are trying to tell me right now? <laughs> I don't know what accent that was, but like. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're trying to tell me right now. I'm like, are you dead serious? Like, I'm like, like when I told you I was upset, come home crying. Like, oh my gosh, like this is so stressful. I really don't need this stress. I really don't need this stress. I already hate school. My bad. Kids, if you're watching this, I love school. That was just a slip up. I really did not mean to say that. I love school so much. The best experience of your life. 
with math when i do math there comes trauma with it as in like elementary school teacher literally told me like suzanne there's no hope for you like i like i was like getting teased for being mad at math, Ugh, bad at math, bad at math by teachers, by students, and the teachers will see the students do it, but they won't say nothing. So like math in general is just like it would just trigger me. Like I hate that junk. I cannot stand that junk. Like if I see that junk on Instagram, talking about some. Oh, if Tony has six apples and then Jessica took three, how much would it take her to have ten? I'm not gonna do it. I am not gonna do it. I'm gonna go straight to the comments. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. Jesus allowed me to be a cashier. I was pretty, I was like the best cashier. I'm not gonna front. I was the best cashier. Anybody can say nothing about me being a cashier. I was fast. I was, everything was perfect. Period. <laughs> Basically, they had me taking it and taking it. The school kept like putting me down, telling me I wouldn't graduate and stuff like that. And y'all, it was just so freaking stressful. School made me depressed like a mother. It was just really, 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 really bad for my health really bad for my health so long story short they get my test scores right and they say that it's actually registered under somebody else's name under my id number but now somebody else has my id number which makes no sense so basically i passed the test for somebody else so the assistant principal was sorting all that out and he was like oh um i want to contact their school in miami and like um basically the other person's gonna have to take it again that makes no sense they might as well keep it at this point if we both fell for what long story short again they give me back my test scores all that pressure is lifted and i found out that the pert doesn't determine whether you graduate or not that's just a placement test for college so all those teachers all those uh test administrators were liars it blew me so bad that i made i started making posters saying oh test scores do not determine your overall intelligence and i posted them around the school because for what why do students need that extra stress y'all weren't young too lol sis calm down Hey, uh, don't tell me to calm down. I will literally sling you across this room. Don't tell me to calm down. Do it. Disrespectful. I hope this video was informative enough for you. I hope it was to your expectation because to me, uh, I feel like it wasn't all that. But you know, content is content. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Check out my Instagram. If I don't post on YouTube, I will most definitely post on Instagram. I'll post skits. I'll post whatever. And yeah, just go give me a follow. Let's see.